himself for us, and he calls upon us to love one another as he loves us. This evening, Father Raphael will celebrate with Natalie Father Sebastian, who as principal can celebrate, representing the action of Christ himself. At the end of this evening's Eucharist, the consecrated body of Jesus will be carried in procession to the repository prepared in the chapel. There we will honor him in song and watch with him tonight in memory of his prayers in the Garden of Olives until 9 p.m., at which time my prayers will be said together. And now let us rise and sing all the love in this place and let us build the house of God. Almighty God, have mercy on us. 
only begotten the Son went about to hand himself over to death, entrust to the church a sacrifice to for eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Though our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
Took it out and tied it around his waist. Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, 
Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Jesus said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, and only not only my feet, but my hands and head as well.
my dear friends in Christ. Is God a God of love? Most of the time, you would say yes. Except, perhaps, during times of suffering or struggle within our lives. Most of us, in those moments, may at times wonder whether or not God is love. When we stand back and closely examine the question, however, we agree that God truly is a God of love. Does love seek union? Isn't it the inner nature and force of love to seek union with the beloved? All of you who have been there, you know what it's all about. One is, one is without the other nothing because of that love. I think we, should, we would all agree and answer the question with a strong yes. Love seeks a union. God has come to us in Jesus Christ in order to join himself to us. That is the theological question the church is grounded on that truth. The sacraments of our church exist in order to bring God to us and to bring us back to God in a very profoundly deep and holy way. Today is sometimes called Monday Thursday, Thursday or in the Latin Mandatum Thursday and it comes from the root word meaning to give. I give. This is the hour in which our Lord gives himself to us so that he can take us back to our Father in heaven. It is an hour during which we should take time out and reflect, ponder the awesome truth of God's giving of himself totally and humbly in his love to us mere mortals. Today is also a day when the Catholic Church celebrates what it means to be a priest. In every cathedral church throughout the world, but yesterday it was in our cathedral, a special liturgy called the Chrism Mass. And it is devoted to the meaning of the priesthood. Priests renew their vows on that day. In awesome silence, we see in today's Mass, God the Son on his knees, washing our feet and giving himself over to us in utter powerlessness. Centuries ago, St. Augustine, one of my favorites, came out and said, For you, I am a priest. With you, I am a Christian. Those words inspire me. A priest is most a priest when he humbly and without self-centeredness and self-conscientiousness washes the humble, emotional, and spiritual feet of those who come to him with the dust and the dirt of the world's roads clinging to them. He is fully a priest when he hands over his time, his death comfort, all his energies, for the care of God's people without counting the cost. A priest is most a priest when he offers the holy sacrifice of the Mass. The priest is a loving priest when he hands over his life, his personal preferences, his, his, um, his conveniences to devote himself to caring for those who come to him as they came to Jesus in their need. A priest is a humble priest when he gratefully accepts what's placed in front of him daily. He is content with what God has given to him in talents. 
A priest is supposed to priest when he forgets when he is going to get out of being a priest. It is simply without regard or acclamation or human notoriety. He does when he does what God calls him to do. Serve the people of God. Now, I am a priest. With you, I am a Christian. You and I can join our hands and walk through the Garden of Gethsemane into the Garden of the Resurrection. And together, in Holy Communion, share Christ's love forever, both in this life and in the next. Is God a God of love? Does love seek union? Yes. How has God come to us in Jesus in order to join himself to us? Well, where do you live? He is here right now for you and for me. Let him take you into his arms. When I was a very young priest, I had some good pastors. We only had one when I was a pastor the rest of the time. But he was a Pilotowski, and he was a good and holy priest. He was an excellent session. He smoked terribly. And he taught me that on Holy Thursday, the pastor should ask forgiveness of his parishioners, of anything that insulted you or said that you didn't like, can't help that sometimes. <laughs> so on this day, I ask you for your forgiveness if I have offended you in any way. And I just ask that you pray for me that I can continue to do God's will, God's work for you as long as I am here.
We pray to the Lord. Lord our Most merciful Father, in the sacrifice of your Son is revealed the meaning of our life. May his love penetrate all that we love, so that all that we love becomes truer and pure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Presented in the table said, Let us say whatsoever you do to the loose. There were eight twenty-eight men that were there. Whatsoever you to the least of my people, that you do unto me anymore. Whatsoever. Challenges. 
those who are anointed with the oil of catechisms may be strengthened to meet the challenges of their baptismal calling. Sacred Chrism, presented by Sharon Rodino and Everett McCann, both candidates who will receive confirmation at the Easter Vigil. This is a mixture of oil and perfume and is used in the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and holy orders. It is also used in the consecration of church and sacred objects. Our prayer is that through the use of this oil, those anointed with it may be strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit as they continue their journey in life. Thank you. 
are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. and his holy and venerable hands, 
And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
Yeah. 
Thank <laughs> you.